Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Junetastic love reading for Scorpios. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing, phenomenal Scorpios of the world. The sun is shining on you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live on Brown Eyes Intuitions, but I'm going to be doing a live over here. I always say it. So let me know in the comments below, what are you interested more in seeing me do a live reading over here? Is it Scorpio or is it a particular sign? Is it a w whatever? Let me know in the comments below what you would like for me to do a live reading on and I will make it happen. Okay, so check it out, Scorpio. It is a general. It is a general. It is a general. It is a general. So only use your intuition because I don't know none of you. <laughs> I'm just playing. I got bars. <laughs> so check it out, Scorpio, with all seriousness and all jokes aside. Okay. This is your overall energy. Okay. <laughs> and you can tell that this is a Scorpio's reading because your overall energy is forgiving and learning say it with me class forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past your love life benefits in your current situation because you got romantic feelings oh somebody want to heal it keep an open mind spirit say look you think you know you don't know nothing about love when you mad Give your relationship a chance. Y'all say, uh-uh, I'm done with this. Stay optimistic about your love life in the reverse and reconciliation in the reverse. Woo. See there? Y'all done gave up on love. Say it ain't so. Well, y'all probably done gave up on reconciling. But it could represent you, you giving up. You could be giving up on reconciling with love itself, not just somebody from your past. But somebody has romantic feelings, so this could be an escape goat. Y'all could be shutting down because you are afraid to open up emotionally because you feel like you're not going to get what you want. And that ain't how you're supposed to live. You got you to gotta be bold. You got to face it. You got to face it. So Spirit is saying forgiving and learning. You're going to have to release it by forgiving whoever, whatever the situation. Uh, allow, your, allow, allow your romantic feelings to surface. Allow your feelings to talk to you it's okay it don't mean that you got to be with somebody but if you feel a certain way it's okay it says keep an open mind your soulmate is different from, from what your usual type and expectations is so this is somebody here who you're you you're not used to being with it's a different type of energy uh so you're being tested in your love relationship but it's not just because there is um difference difference of energy it's because for some of you guys you're going to have to release the past and forgive even if it's somebody you never be back with you still got to forgive them scorpio and it ain't for them it's for you because your overall energy is the nine of cups so this is emotional fulfillment this is happiness Ooh, but you got that uh what's that ten of wands releasing it's like spirit is telling you release the burdens of unforgiveness so that you can be happy again. Don't let nobody take control over your hard space. Don't you know that you want to be emotionally content and happy even if you own your own because you have to be that way before you meet someone. Because if not, you're going to put too much pressure on them and they probably can't. And you know, nine times out of 10, they can't hang. Scorpios. Look, you got them. Oh, that's judgment. Ooh, judgment. Time to make up your mind. It's time for somebody, either it's time for you to make up your mind or it's time for them to make up their mind. Do you really want all this happiness? Because you do have romantic feelings, but they go to three of swords, though. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus. Forgiving and learning for Scorpios. Maybe this is for, for you to finally answer the call. Have a spiritual awakening. Mm. Six of Cups. Ah, here we go. So there go that Six of Cups coming back around and there go the devil. Some of y'all got to deal with something. Something y'all have been avoiding. You may not be able to avoid it forever. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. When love comes, Scorpios, you better answer. 
you better answer or not. It's up to you. It's up to you, boo. Ten of swords. Ooh, with that ten of swords, you probably ain't. <laughs> I see now. I get it. Oh, I get it now. Oh, do I get it now. Who cross watch your ex? What have you done? Ooh, there's a lot of swords. There's a lot of uh, mental turmoil. You got to let it go so that you can have peace. You could be steady, repeating. Somebody maybe want to come in. You may, be having, you may have had some type of conversation. Or maybe there needs to be a conversation that needs to be made, had with you and somebody. And you guys are avoiding each other. Five of Pentacles. Feeling inadequate. Not feeling you're most confident. You, somebody may be feeling, making, making you feel like you're not good enough. But I don't know why you got the nine of cups here. Or maybe they feel like that. Seven of cups in the reverse coming out of the illusions. Nine of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. And there go the chariot underneath the bottom. Jimi Hendrix. Could be a cancer. That's the music, that's the music tarot. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with Judgment, Taurus. Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. With the Cancer underneath the bottom. Followed by the Empress. Ooh, they coming in. Could be a Cancer or a Sagittarius coming in. See? Could be a Libra, a Cancer, or a Sagittarius. Now, somebody coming in to you, somebody that you have been uh, about divine timing. Somebody's coming back together, trying to come back together. Could be a Cancer, could be a Libra, could be a Sagittarius. Mm. So let's see for Scorpios. Now, this could represent the person that you're dealing with. Because somebody has romantic feelings. But someone is not keeping an open mind. Somebody is not forgiving or releasing it. Someone don't want to work on it. It's like somebody that gave up. It's like Scorpio has officially left the building. And it could be one of those situations when you really give up. That's when magic happens. But don't be surprised if you don't feel the same way about someone. You're okay. You, you have every right. Sometimes when it's over, it needs to be over. Sometimes that's all you will put in somebody's life or they came into your life is just to learn another lesson. That's all. Sometimes we fall in love with the lesson. All right, so let's see what's going on here, Scorpios. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Scorpios, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? A bad ending. A lot of bad times coming back. Mm. She came out again. I feel like this is y'all needing to work on y'all self, though, Scorpios. Temperance in the reverse. See? You could be needing to heal from other situations here. I feel like some of y'all, y'all just going to focus on y'all money. And y'all call y'all self avoiding love. See, y'all going to hold back. Now, see, so for some of y'all, y'all been wrong and y'all been done wrong and, and you holding back from future things. Because remember, your overall energy was forgiving and learning. So y'all going to hold back. But there's an imbalance. There's something that needs to be addressed. 
because it's going to, even though it seems like things could be going good, it could have you just really too scared to step out with that four of pentacles, feeling, feeling like you can't do it now, inadequate. But I feel like something is changing or about to change. Ten of swords. Could have been hurt because somebody was had a third party situation or you were just hurt. They go to four swords. See, somebody needs to focus on themselves and heal and recover. Go on, let it happen. If it's ending, let it end because they go to the world card. I feel like your peace is going to be restored. It could be as soon as, once again, as soon as you start really healing and coming out of confusion and all that, then here they come back. Whew, Scorpio is almost like a roller coaster ride. Why is the Three of Swords here? Clarify Three of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. Heartbreak. There it go again. Ten of Swords. See? Some of y'all may feel like y'all been done wrong by a narcissist here. The Emperor in the reverse. And they go to Tower in the reverse. An Aries, a Scorpio, a Pisces. See, this is what they going through. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Emperor in the reverse, the Tower in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords in the upright. Somebody may have lost some money dealing with a third party or a third party thing because you got the Two of Pentacles. See, there's delays with this person, stagnation, because they need to change something. See, so they're the problem. And you know, you know, you know how it is when you deal with somebody who got them issues. When you start dealing with them, their issue become your issue. And I feel like spirit is telling you it's time for you to take back your power or release it, forgive them so that it does not have power over you. Because this person obviously needs to do some, some inner work too. Why is the five, seven of cups in the reverse? Somebody may be breaking free mentally. Somebody may be walking away from other outside influences or the illusions. See, they go to judgment card again. Judgment. Oof, it's a lot of spiritual awakening happening. Judgment, self-evaluation, awakening, renewal, composure, decisiveness, homesickness, snap, Judgments, apportioning blame, forgiveness. See, it says forgiveness. See, there it is. Go that word, forgiveness. See, I feel like somebody is snapping out of it, Scorpio. Somebody is snapping out of it. After they done caused all this damage, they are snapping out of it. Mm. Because not only do you got the judgment, you got the seven of cups in the reverse. Somebody is snapping out of it. Wow, it could be you or it could be them. Could be those, those illusions that's coming off. There go the world. It says yes. It says success, achievement, accomplishments, travel, completion, fulfillment, sense of belonging, wholeness some type of completion that somebody is doing now what it's, it could be you doing this too seven of cups in the reverse you got major you got the judgment and the world so yes yeah, something major is taking place like a major shift somebody's snapping out of it because there's major shifts taking place in somebody's life see there it is clarity ace of swords see now, this could be you see, and there go the freaking sun card. See, it could be a Leo. See, for some of you guys, it may be. There goes strength. It says new ideas, new plans, intellectual, ability, victory, success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthroughs, ability to concentrate, communication, realize the truth, vision, force, focus, intensity stimulating people clarity then you got the sun positivity freedom fun success optimism vitality joy confidence self-expression good luck enthusiasm happiness truth 
openness, pregnancy, rebirth, birth. So now either this is you or this is somebody you were dealing with. Somebody's realizing that, that maybe they need to forgive the situation or forgive. They may need your forgiveness. Judgment. Give me the other judgment. They go the devil card. Mm. Clarify judgment. Y'all remember uh, what's her name? Pat Benatar. This was the judgment card. Were just reminding me of Pat Benatar. What's up with this judgment for Scorpios? Mm. C C C C C. See? Love. That's what they're being judged by. Love. See? See there? See? Let me tell you what this judgment card is saying again, Scorpios. It says judgment, self-evaluation, awakening, renewal, composure, decisiveness, homesickness, snap judgments, apportioning blame, and forgiveness. See? Somebody is snapping out of it and now somebody here may be blaming themselves or feeling like they are to blame because you got that nine of swords there. Could be you. It says partnership, unity, love, compatibility, happy couples, potential soulmates, relationships, harmony, balance, equality, attraction, Connection, proposals, engagements, marriage, mutual respect. It is a yes. Love. Two of Cups represents love. So somebody is judging love, see? And they go to Eight of Cups. Somebody could be at a crossroad. What should they do? Maybe they're judging you walking away. Maybe you need to judge it or something. It says abandonment. Abandoning plans, walking away, letting go, traveling, escape, escape, to escapism. This is what they, they tried. They tried to escape it. Reaching limit, <laughs> self-analysis, self-discovery, introspection, looking deeper, withdrawal, disappointment, looking for the truth. See, this person's been looking for the truth, or maybe you have. Wow. Because somebody looking for the truth down here too, and they're gonna find out with the Ace of Swords and the Sun card with justice, with judgment and the world coming out of the illusions, coming out of what you thought you knew. Now, like I said, it's either you or somebody you're dealing with. Now, what's up with this judgment? Mm. Mm. The Ten of Cups. Wow. Should you? Should I? I feel like somebody here has tried to abandon this connection, whether that is you or whether that is them. It could be both of y'all. See, because there go the lover's card. Somebody may have needed to figure out what they wanted to do or who. See, could be a Gemini. Or somebody here trying to figure out do they want to be with this connection. Happiness, family, happy families, reunions. Happily ever after, major decisions, major choices, love, soulmates, kindred spirits, perfect. See, this person probably felt like this connection was so freaking deep that they didn't understand. Maybe it was so intense that it scared them. Because after all, you got the two of cups, you got the lover's card, you got the six of cups. You're showing up as the empress and you found somebody here who was not open to all of that because you got the emperor in the reverse as long as well as the tower in the reverse. The tower in the reverse says resisting change. See, averting disaster. See, they thought that they was missing out on a, somebody thought that you was going to be a problem for them. They thought you was going to be a problem. That, that's what they're, look, that's what they thought. But let's see what energy they're in. First of all, you got the emperor in the reverse. It says abuse of power, rigid, rigidity, 
Stubbornness, lack of discipline, lack of control, absentee father, paternity issues here. This person may not be close to their person, their dad, or this person is, is emotionally, they could, be, they could be there physically all they want, but emotionally they're not attached to their, they don't know how to connect emotionally to their children, even if they have children. So this is somebody here who plays it safe, Three of Swords, somebody here probably did you like this or, you know, was a big disappointment here. Or this person thinks that everybody's out to get them. It's almost like this person is trying to get you before the backstabbing, betrayal, enemies, bitching, bad mouthing, bitterness, doormat, failure. It's just like this, the Ten of Swords, it says, ending defeat. No. So like I said, I feel like this person has really been trying to, it's almost like this person's trying to avoid getting hurt because we're clarifying the three of swords and the ten of swords. This is somebody here who has been hurt before. So because they have been hurt, I'm talking about they didn't, they ain't been no, or no typical hurt. No, it, it dug deep because we're dealing with swords. And as this masculine, they have not been able to bounce back from it. So they look upon you or this is how they was looking at you. It's like they're avoiding a tower with you. It says resistant change, averting disaster, avoiding tragedy, delaying the inevitable, avoiding loss. See, they said they'd be God dang if you do that to them like the last person, because somebody feels like you could hurt them the worst or the most. Because even though they've been using all these psychological games and mental games against you, it's because they do feel this connection and they know what type of hole it will have or it does have on them. Followed by the hangman in the nine of swords. It says feeling trapped, confined, self-limiting, uncertain, lack of direction, needing release, letting go, sacrifice, waiting, lack of direction, perspective. And then you got you got two no calls, fear, anxiety, terror, negativity, deep unhappiness, stress, burden, overwhelmed at breaking point. Inability to cope or face life, mental anguish, guilt, regret, remorse, focusing on past, subject of gossip. So this person, all the people around them, they always talk about this person because they probably could have all the success in the world, but they look at this person while they alone. Whew. This is something. All right. Now listen, the six of cups, five of coins. It could be your person talking themselves out of love. Five of Pentacles. Why is the five of coins here for Scorpios? But maybe this person is about to change. You got the sun card here. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Love will make you oh so happy inside. I Love will make you oh so sad. Make you cry. Changes. That's what love makes you do. Do. Yep. See how that see? Somebody is not confident. Somebody may feel like they can't love you like you love them. Or maybe this person has you feeling this type of way. It's like they have rubbed off on you, on, on you where you may be feeling insecure about your love. Questioning your love. But they go to Eight of Pentacles here. I feel like somebody, well, somebody may end up freeing themselves, but I feel like they always self-sabotage it in their mind. You could be intimidating to this person as the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could be saying that you have a lot of things going on. See, you're nurturing, you're patient, and they may not have those qualities. So they have to play games. See, it's almost like you challenging somebody to change, and it's scary. Somebody has some real deep-rooted issues. They did. And somebody may have not wanted you to get close because maybe they thought you was going to see that. And maybe they felt like you wasn't going to love them if you knew what they really had going on. They go to high priestess here. See, for some of you guys, you know things about this person. and they It's, it's like you scared them, see? For some of you guys, somebody may be realizing how good you are for them, but they may feel like you're too good to be true. 
See, you give balance. You gave right, Scorpios, just as in the Six of Pentacles. You remember somebody is judging themselves about this connection. Now, it could very well be you. But I feel like y'all are kind of mirroring each other, whoever your person may be. Don't ever let anyone dim your love light, Scorpio. That's your purpose. That's who you are. Because remember, you have to drink out of your own cup, too. So if your cup, if your cup is sour tasting because of somebody else's hands, then you're going to have to go back to the lab and you're going to have to get it right. That Empress and the Queen of Cups can. Now, this high priestess could represent that somebody is finally tapped in spiritually. It says mystery. Somebody feels like you are a mystery, Scorpio. That's how come they fought it so hard because it's almost like you're freaking too good to be true. Inner knowing, self-trust spiritual insight somebody realized that you have a lot of spiritual insight you could be calling this person out telling them stuff and it's happening and they can't believe it or it scares them somebody may be scared that you're going to find out the real them but it could also represent that somebody's going to come back to you spiritually guided to you and they're going to be generous towards this relationship in order to bring balance back because now that they see uh now that they're really uh assessing the situation um and somebody's getting homesick. I feel like somebody misses you. It's almost like somebody was denying, that, denying themselves love because they were in a funk. Somebody was denying something that was going to help them heal because, with their own issues is what I feel like. Now, why is this uh, Six of Cups here for Scorpio? Clarify the Six of Cups. Somebody was denying their own love because of their own issues because it obviously was here. See, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is, they're not coming, but they're thinking. It says routine. See, there goes the devil. And they need to stand up. See? See, Scorpio, you're dealing with somebody here who is looking upon you like you got them doing things that they don't want to do. They don't, they're not look, used to change. And it's almost like it's re it, it, it was kind of rebellious against you because you're the change that they needed. But they, they like somebody said in their ways, they don't like change. They, 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 they play it safe. They feel like they were avoiding a tower moment or, or, or somebody has already set themselves up to lose because their mind was thinking wrong. So you some of y'all didn't stand a chance with this person anyway, because they had already set the stage for, for, for it to happen like that because they were the ones with the problem. So now that you hooked up with this problem, their their problem became the relationship problem. And now this person is going to overthink it. I feel like this is a person that's stuck on routine. They don't change their stripes. They do the same thing with the root knight of Pentacles. Patience. You, this is the type of person you got to be patient with. And it could be this person needing to be patient. See, because somebody can have happiness. It could, be, it could be spirit telling you to be patient because this person is coming back. See, page of swords. But this time around, things have changed. There's a possibility. See, that's why spirit's telling somebody to keep an open mind because this person is coming back having changed. Now, the only reason why I say maybe is because we choose our paths. You got another time. It's coming back around. But they, they see, 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 see. There they go. See. That's why Spirit is saying be patient. For some of y'all, you're being patient because somebody had to choose between you and another situation. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify this Nine of Cups. Somebody may be led by their heart now. Somebody probably getting out of their head. They go to Three of Pentacles, partnerships, teamwork, working together. On one accord, they go to Star Car, healing, hope, inspiration, wishes coming true. It's a yes, could be a Capricorn. Get a card that jumps. See? Something that you manifest. You remember it says keep an open mind. Your soul may, may be different than what you, because your soul may keep an open mind. It's what you manifest in here. For some of y'all, this, this is the relationship that, that you're not used to. You're not used to this type of energy with this person, with this type of energy. Somebody was egotistical, all about their pride and their arrogance. I feel like somebody did not like that they were being humbled by you, Scorpios, by how you conducted yourself with this person. See, this person had a lot of confusion going on. See, this person probably didn't, wasn't sure about settling down. 
listen to their ego, listen to their friends. But somebody don't like that they look like a jerk too, Scorpio. So there are some drastic changes that's taking place. Somebody's moving away from all of the interference because somebody's realizing that you do bring a lot of, somebody's realizing they are in love with you. Nine of Pentacles, like I said, Nine of Pentacles could be representing you're single, you're doing your own thing, but it could also represent somebody's coming back to you single without any other outside influences here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles showing up for Scorpios? Strength. Inner strength, courage, bravery, confidence, compassion, taming, control, overcoming, self-doubt, focus. <clears throat> they go to death card. I feel like somebody to end is something else. They go to death card. Or somebody trying to come, but you got the nine of pentacles here. It could represent you too finally ending a situation, Scorpios, and taking back your power as Mr. and Mrs. Independent Scorpio. You don't need anyone. I mean, you may desire them, but you may be good on your own. But once again, you got the king and the queen of cups. And you got the empress with the emperor in the reverse. Could be a cancer. See, somebody trying to overcome. Well, either get, I feel like somebody's trying to see, night of one. This, this, this has been an uh, old, ugly habit of theirs for a while. Knight of wands in the reverse. See, and there go the seven of swords. See, this is something that they're having to overcome. See, there go the transformation. So see, you now you see it brings it all back around. You see why you be meeting people? It's not by accident. I'm telling you, it seems like you're going to go through all of that BS just to get your person to open back up to love. See? See? The will of fortune. See? Transformation. Healing. You got the star card. That's what it's about. Because this person was a mess, y'all. This is somebody here who didn't never saw themselves doing wrong. But they always did. See? See, this person, you triggered this person because there's no way they could do you any kind of way here. You stood up for yourself. They, I feel like by you having morals and standards, it made, the, it, it made their weaknesses stand out more. And I feel like they resented you, so they did not want to change. But it was, it was really towards you. But the only one they were hurting for was themselves. And once again, it could be their energy as well. See, forgiving and learning. Somebody here that feel like they ain't wrong, they ain't did nothing. But the whole freaking time, they're the freaking problem. Forgiving and learning, keeping an open mind. They had already shut you down before you even had a chance. You feel me? <laughs> Romantic feelings, they did not want you to know that they really cared for you because that was given way too much control over. Give your relationship a chance. I feel like your person did not want to put in their work because they were not optimistic. They were doubting. See, reconciliation in the reverse. See, now this could be you see, express your love. See there, there it is. When love comes, your cross watching X, they better answer, they better answer. See there, see? You triggered them, and they became even more like they're going to show you, but the only one they end up showing was themselves. See? Because spirit is, this is what spirit is saying. This person is in your life, nut, to help you out. See? See? Spirit say, don't be no fool Why you think this empress here. Because you think you got it all together, but you don't. You missing something. See, Scorpio, once again, I'm getting that somebody didn't even know how effed up they was until you came into their life. And they did not like what they was shown because with that towel and that death, death card, they're going to see it. They have to see it. Look, you got the judgment card here twice. Somebody did not like that you had to make them level up because they was fine just as they was, at least so they thought. So now you got the Knight of Pentacles. What's up with the Knight of Pentacles? See, y'all? Don't count yourself out. I'm telling you, they be needing what you got. Yeah, it seem like you're going to suffer, but you're not really because it's going to put you in your power. You're going to realize 
that you the one bringing the juice and the smoke, not them. You bringing in that healing. It's up to them to take what they say you can lead the look. See there, you probably told this person the truth and you broke this person down, but not in no bad way. I feel like this person is slowly making their way to you. But like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like whatever you told somebody, I feel like it's stung because it was the truth. And somebody know that you're not, you don't have to settle for them. You don't have to put up with their mess. And then when they have to really judge how they really behave and, and the type of energy that they in, yeah, they don't like that. See, eight of swords. Feeling trapped, restricted, backed into a corner. See, I told you, they feel like you are backing them into a corner, Scorpio. That's what they feel. They feel like you making them do something that they don't want to do. But that's what they need. Ain't that something? Ain't that something that they can't get mad at you because you got standards? Because they showing up in the reverse? But somebody feels like you're backing them in a the corner and they don't like it. Ooh, that's why they're taking their time. Because I feel like they've been spending this whole time blaming you. But that's, that's what they need. The will of fortune is bringing in a change. And they're scared. Somebody's scared to, to, for you to know that if you only knew how much control you had over them, they would lose themselves because they may not even have their own identity anyway. You know, you can tell when somebody don't know who the F they are because they play these kind of games. So that's what it seemed like, see? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. See, that's why this person taking their time because they feel like you're forcing them to do something, see? Somebody feels like you're making them do something that they don't want to do, but at the same time, that's what they need. They know... That's what they need. It's like it's not anything wrong. They want to do it on their own whenever they feel like it. And shame on you for acting like you or somebody you high and mighty where they have to step up their game just to get you back in their life. Shame on you, Scorpio, not them. That's what they feel. But if they really, really want you, they're going to have to put their work in. Because I know one thing. I know love and your heart don't lie. It don't lie. You can fall in love with somebody here who did you wrong. And this is what they're realizing. They can play all the games and lie to themselves all they want. They cannot deny what spirit has already shown them about you and about themselves. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading, honey. So if it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.